I remember actually drawing it on paper that I want this size of the hanger, please cut the wood like this, screw this on the top and then give it to me. We got introduced to Pradyuman Mallu last year on Netflix's Indian matchmaking. What interested us the most was his interest in interior design and more specifically the attention to detail he has given to the decor of his puja room. The puja room was the epicenter of the whole house. We wanted that as you enter, the first thing that uh, if you have to see is God. This month, we are focusing on our need to slow down and the spaces we create in our homes for that. They could be spiritual altars, meditation and yoga rooms, or just a space to pray. So we asked Pradyuman to give us a tour of his puja room where his family comes together every day. We wanted to have it in white. The moment anyone sees the white color, there is a sense of peace. There's a sense of serenity. The marble was our first choice. We went around towards Rajasthan. And then we've created dome structures, which is a mix of the Mughal architecture as well as the traditional Indian Hindu uh, temple structure. So we've used a couple of things. I was very certain that I wanted like the elephant and the lotus in the temple. Elephant really signifies wisdom. The lotus is always pure. For me, design is not only just how it looks. It's even how it makes you feel, you know. We always had decided that we want Radha Krishna as the front court, but especially if you see Shivji and Mumba Devi Mata, they are generally adorned in black. On silver, we had got like a black coating done for them. Each one of them detailed according to our specifications. So we get fresh flowers every day for the gods and uh, we try to color coordinate with each of the days. Initially when we were designing, we were thinking that why not let's create even a wardrobe for God, like we have it for ourselves. It's just a better way of presentation at the end of it. When the idea came and when we went to implement, we just realized that the amount of space that we saved uh, on a daily basis was phenomenal. It just looked very pretty as well because you could go and take a choice of you know, that address very easily. The puja accessories we have been using have been passed on from generations, from our grandfathers, great-grandfathers. They have become so important in terms of value, in terms of emotions. It's a beautiful thing. For me, the mandir was a place to clear our mind, trying to understand the basic thing, what is passing through my head, as simple as that. 